about how are we going to walk with our dogs so remember that daily walks are a mess taking walks is a great management tool for our dog taking our dogs for their daily walks is one of the most important thing you can do with your dog it is a secret and essential tool to tolerate some behavioral issues Remember that socialization and bonding is one of the best treatment for your dog. It is a physical and emotional attachment occurring between the dog and the owner with environmental familiarization to treat your dog's behavioral issues. So, um, going out for walks with your dogs is under the operant conditioning which a desired behavior or increasingly closer approximation to it is followed by a least rewarding or reinforcing stimulus it falls within positive reinforcement program which it is something added to increase behavior and achieve what you wanted from your dog daily walk serves several functions the first one is the they provide they provide the exercise that helps trigger puppies or dogs to relieve themselves mentally and physical exercise the other one is they provide us with an opportunity to teach our dogs leash skills with the line of rope or what we call leash so walks expose our dogs to varying degrees of distractions and they learn how to tolerate them just as important they 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 learn that behavior we will and will not tolerate on a walk dog walks are also great exercise for dog owners Definitely, if you start by just walking around your block, you can build your stamina and slowly increase the distances. Where, where dogs choose to go to the bathroom is an important decision. It's not just about relieving themselves. It's about communicating with the world at large. Outside your home. Not the typical bathroom, but the outside of your home. Dogs use their urine to signal their presence to other dogs. And in turn, smelling other dogs' urine tells a dog all about the other canines in the community, including their gender, age, and health. This system of female keeps dog up to date on what's happening in their neighborhood. While on a walk, dogs want to sniff out all the places other dogs have gone to the bathroom so they can leave a fresh deposit on top. This is the equivalent of human graffiti saying, Rover was here. Rover, Rover was here. That thing, male dogs specifically will lift their their back leg as high as possible to get their urine up to the nose level of other dogs. So this symbolizes if the urine or fresh isn't enough of a message, dogs sometimes scratch the ground with their feet to further emphasize their signal along with 
living and additional visual cue, they use special glands between their toes to leave extra scent on the ground as they scratch, adding even more impact to the scent mark. All of this sniffing and scratching requires concentration and time. Giving your dog the opportunity to sniff the pee meal and leave messages of his own will help him get the most out of his walks. So, if you want to keep your dog brief or limit the areas your dog does his business, consider teaching him potty cues. This will let you tell him when and where you would like him to go. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna emphasize this to you guys by not letting your dog sniff and explore. Because we humans, we have five or six million scent receptors in our noses. But dogs have up to 300 million, depending on the breed. They also have a far larger area of their brain devo devoted to their sense of uh, smell. We need to consider the fact that dog's sense of smell that is at least 10,000 times greater than the humans. It's almost impossible for us to imagine the complexity of the information they gather with their noses. But dogs experience the world through their nose. And just as we might want to look around to take in the scenery, they want to smell all their environment has to offer. And dragging your dog away from the interesting scent or asking him to heal and heal the entire way around the block prevents him from truly taking in everything around him and diminishes the mental stimulation a walk can provide. Some dogs seem to be ruled by their noses and thinking of nothing else while on a scent trail. Proper training can help regain their focus when out on a walk consider teaching cues like watch me or live it to take their minds off the smell and put their attention back to you. Reward short bursts of healing or loose leash walking with frequent snipping sessions to help foster good walking behavior. From a dog perspective, humans walk far too slowly. Remember that? Dog's perspective, humans walk far too slowly. To follow interesting scent trails and get where they want to go, dogs will drag their people behind them as fast as they can manage. One of the most common responses we have to dog pulling on the leash is to pull back. However, this, uh, this rarely gets the desired effect of a loose leash. Instead, we end up in a leash tag of war and with a large and strong dog, chances are the, chances are the human will, will lose. This is because dogs have an opposite reflex, meaning that if you pull on their leash, they will pull back. If you try to drag them into the opposite direction, they will dig in and stop walking. They are not doing this to, to be stubborn or controlling. It's simply the way their body naturally... But they are not doing this to be stubborn or controlling. It's simply the way their body naturally responds. But all that pressure on the leash is hard on their throat. Particularly for small dogs or those prone to collapsing trachea. It's also pretty frustrating for your dog because it keeps him from exploring and doesn't provide him with any direction about what you want him to do instead. So, learn this thing. 
you should teach your dog to walk with a loose leash, having the leash hang down in a J-shape between you by stopping and changing direction whenever he gets ahead of you. When he turns to catch up, reward him with a praise, a small treat, and a chance to keep walking. Only let your dog walk when the leash is slack. The loose leash will eliminate pressure on his throat and prevent you from triggering his opposition reflex. If you already have a determined puller, consider using a training harness or head harness while you work on developing your dog's polite walking skills. I wish we could discuss another discussion about our companion, guys. Thank you and keep safe, everyone. Yeah. <laughs>